Welcome back. So I was at a really, uh, I was really close to um, a really good stopping point. So I stopped the last podcast, but this kind of all goes together. So I wanted to just finish these last two slides off. Um, so DDX means differentiate, take the derivative. You'll notice none of the basic rules specifically mention radicals. So you should convert the radical to its exponential form and then use the power rule. All right, so this is, we're going to be taking the derivative of x to the 1 half, and then using the power rule, our derivative, exponent moves in front, reduce your exponent by 1, all right, so that means f prime of x is going to be 1 half x, 1 half minus 2 halves is going to be negative 1 half, and then you need to simplify that. So f prime of x equals uh, 1 divided by 2. And then you can either have it be x to the 1 half in the denominator. Or I kind of prefer it this way. I don't always switch back to radical form. It depends on what my radical is. But if it's something, uh, what my exponent is. But if it's something as easy as 1 half, I often just convert back to radical form because quite honestly, that looks a little nicer. Oh, and by the way, I don't care whether you rationalize or not. That's, to that's uh, totally up to you. All right? So before I end this podcast, I told you I should have just uh, stuck with my podcast before instead of ending it. I only have one more slide I want to go, uh, go through. All right? So I have a lot of work on this slide. I didn't really think it needed copying over again um, and watching me do it step by step because what I wanted to do is highlight something very, very important. And the thing I want to highlight, come on, Mr. Arrow, is that the derivative of a product is not the product of the derivative. So if you're, when you're watching this with me, I want everyone to say this out loud with me. Ready, everyone? The derivative of a product is not the product of the derivatives. Oh, it is so not. All right, so we'll show you why. We'll show you. It is so not. All right, so here, uh-oh, spinning ball of death. Right, I'll talk without moving my arrow just for a little while. Um, and so here we multiplied. That's all I did. All right, um, so a little algebra 2 skill. x squared plus, so we're taking the derivative of x squared plus 3 times 2x cubed plus 5x. Expand that. All right, multiply. So you have x squared times 2x cubed plus 5x. And you have 3 times 2x cubed plus 5x. All right, then you multiply, you got 2x to the fifth plus 5x cubed plus 6x cubed plus 15x. Now take the derivative of that. Oh, of course, you might as well add 5x cubed and 6x cubed together for 11x cubed. And I'm actually going to go over just the derivative part because the rest of it was just multiplication. All right, so our derivative dy dx is equal to, all right, coefficient moves in front. Right? And actually, I'll write this. I'll write all the steps here. So we have 5 times 2x. And actually, I'll write the, the 2 in front. So we have 2 times, because that's just a, a scalar multiple, times 5x to the fourth. Right? x when it moves in front, reduced by 1, plus 11 times 3x squared, and then plus 15. Right? Because that's just going to be times x to the 0 power. Right? So we don't really need that x to the 0 power. And if that helps you, I can write x to the 0 power. All right? So then this would be our derivative, dy dx, is going to equal, so we'd have 10x to the 4th plus 33x squared plus 15. All right, that would be the derivative. That's good. Yes, smiley face. Oh, that's me, Mrs. Michelle. You're looking very happy. All right, so let's see what happens if you just take the derivative of the, each of the products. All right, so you get 2. So the derivative of x squared would be 2x, right? Exponent moves in front. Reduce the exponent by 1. Derivative of a constant is 0. Derivative of 2x cubed would be 6x squared. Derivative of 5x is 5. All right, so now we're going to multiply 2x times 6x squared plus 5, and you get 12x cubed plus 10x. Is 12x cubed plus 10x equal to 10x to the fourth plus 33x squared plus 15? No. That's because that's wrong. Look at sad face. All right, here's Ms. Mishagna 
You do it right. Move arrow. You do it right. Miss Machine has got happy face. Yay! You do it wrong. Miss Machine makes frowny face. Sad. All right. Don't do this. This is just wrong. So wrong. Don't take the derivative of terms in a product and then multiply. You gotta simplify first. So notice the product of the derivatives did not match the derivative of the products because this is just this here. <sighs> Patui, just wrong, all right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Let's write a big wrong. Wrong. Oops. What happened to my, oh, it looks like rang. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this podcast on a happy note of wrong, but you're not going to do it wrong, right? You're going to do it right, and that will make me happy. All right, and so I'm ending this podcast. In the next podcast, we're going to learn some other ways of working with products and quotients. All right, bye for now.